Are you ready to walk the path of shadows? Assassin's Creed Mirage is taking us back to the roots of the franchise with a focus on stealth gameplay. Whether you're an assassin initiate or an experienced mentor of the Brotherhood, we've put together a few helpful tips to help you make the most of Basim's skills. Basim carries six tools that you can unlock and play with. These include the throwing knife, a light knife balanced for eliminating guards at short or mid distances, the noisemaker, a small explosive that distracts and lures guards away to facilitate your infiltration, the trap, a non-lethal proximity explosive capable of knocking down enemies and creating chaos. The smoke bomb, a truly iconic assassin tool, releasing a thick cloud of smoke that obscures vision and useful whenever you want to eliminate multiple guards or cut loose during a chase. And finally, the blow dart, a silent projectile used to put targets to sleep and stay your blade from the flesh of the innocents. Oh, and the torch if you need a spark of light in the darkest of places. Combining these will result in unique and unexpected scenarios. You will first receive the throwing knives during your training as a hidden one in the fortress of Alamut and unlock the rest later in Baghdad. Top tip, you can quickly use some of the tools by combining the LT button of your controller with the face buttons. During your playthrough, you will have the ability to upgrade each assassin tool and change their behaviour to better suit your playstyle. For example, if you need more time to assassinate your enemies, try upgrading the smoke bomb to tier 1 to increase the smoke's duration. To upgrade a tool, visit one of the Banu Musa brothers at a Hidden Ones bureau. The service will cost you upgrade materials such as steel ingots, leather and components, which you can get by exploring the world or completing contracts. You can also choose a different effect for your tool from the same tier, free of charge. Top tip! If you wish to unlock all the tools as early as possible, first eliminate the first main target and then you will be able to unlock the three extra tool capacity skills in the skill tree. Speaking of skill trees, as you climb the ranks of the Hidden Ones completing main missions and contracts, you will learn new skills to help you become a master assassin. Those looking to focus on stealth gameplay should look to unlock the following skills first. Extra tool capacity to unlock all tools early in your journey chain assassination to eliminate two enemies swiftly, pathfinder to have your eagle highlight more opportunities like faction ingredients, chests or secret entrances. If you are not satisfied with the choices you've made, use the reset all skills option to try a different approach. However, keep in mind that extra tool capacity skills will not be reset. Top tip, if you want to maximise your skill points, contracts can be accepted on the contracts board within the Hidden Ones bureaus. The Assassin's Focus is a new way to eliminate targets in quick succession whilst remaining undetected. It allows you to slow down time, mark and execute up to five enemies. You can use it to plan an attack carefully, navigate rapidly in the environment, or even use it as an emergency kill if you're about to get spotted. There are countless ways to master it and create fun and breathtaking moments. But be careful where you land at the end of your strike as you might end up getting detected if you are not cautious. To use this ability, first perform stealth kills to fill the focus bar. Each chunk of the focus bar allows you to assassinate one enemy within the assassin's focus. Once your focus power is charged and you are out of conflict, trigger the assassin's focus by pressing the right joystick to execute a perfect sequence of assassinations. You can use the ability from any position, even when jumping. Enkidu, Basim's eagle companion, can offer you a wider view of your surroundings. Do this by pressing up to switch to Enkidu's eye view. This overhead view allows you to mark your enemies and to locate your objectives with greater precision. Be mindful that enemy marksmen can shoot Enkidu, preventing the scout until you eliminate that guard. Committing illegal actions will attract the attention of the guards and raise your notoriety. 
The notoriety gauge is divided into several levels, marked with distinct icons. New dangers await when each of these thresholds is reached. The first level will have citizens recognising you and exposing you to the guards. The second one will see archers populating the roofs of Baghdad and being hostile to you and your every move. And finally, the third level will increase the stakes by having the Interceptor, an elite guard of Baghdad, sent after you. Decrease your notoriety by removing the wanted posters in the streets of Baghdad without being seen by the authorities, bribe a Munadi with a power token, or defeat the powerful Interceptor. Being unknown to the city and its inhabitants will give you a strong advantage on your enemies, so make sure you keep an eye on your reputation. Hiding in plain sight. The second tenant of the Hidden Ones is one that Basim embraces in the streets of Baghdad. Throughout your journey, crowds can help you stay hidden from the eyes of your enemies. Walking into a group of at least three civilians will let you blend in with them and help you avoid the gaze of guards or facilitate a dangerous escape. You can also bribe specific civilians using tokens to distract guards or stay hidden within a moving group. A practical way to infiltrate locations of interest. You can use your environment to hide and strike without leaving a trace. You can also use hiding spots like gazebos, cabinets, haystacks and stalking zones, all of which will help you evade or get the jump on your enemies. Don't forget, whistling enemies by pressing right on the D-pad will lure them closer for a stealthy kill no matter where you hide. Becoming a master assassin is no easy task, but we hope these tips are helpful in getting you started on your journey to defeating the Order of the Ancients. And in the words of Roshan, remember, from this day forward, you are a hidden one.